to welcome in our next guest, the general manager of Erie Food Co-op. Yeah, we do want to welcome Leanna. I'm going to mess up your last name. There, you say it. It's Naratko. Naratko. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Leanna Naratko. So it but yeah, that. it's all right. <laughs> I think a lot of people know about the Erie Food Co-op, but let's start with the basics. Talk about what a co-op is. Yeah, so co-ops are really cool, and we're so lucky that we have one in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, food co-op just means that it's community-owned. So 7,000 people in Erie in the Erie area get together, they pool their money to own the co-op, as opposed to having a big central corporate office somewhere. The people that own the co-op live here. Our board of directors live here. The CEO lives here. Uh, and so it's a great asset to our community to have that kind of local control in our food system. Mm. I think a lot of times we think of the Erie Food Co-op and we think of that location right there on 26th and Elmwood, mm -hmm. kind of set back a little bit. But you guys are expanding. You've opened up that second location. Yeah, in March of this year, we opened up um, a second location in the flagship city market um, with Gordon's uh, Meat and Luminary. Okay. And so what does that mean to the folks downtown? Now they've got foot access. What do they kind of consider that a food desert mm -hmm. down in any really uh, urban areas are quite often considered a food desert. So that's a tremendous help, I would think. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's really difficult to get grocery stores into the city. So many of those large grocery stores require a, me a minimum income of a certain level in order to even consider a store. Mm -hmm. And we know we have a low uh, median income in downtown Erie. And so this was an opportunity for us to come in. We don't have those requirements that big corporate grocery stores stores have and we can try things we can run a little smaller we can change our plan uh, I think one of the most interesting things since we've opened is how much produce we sell so at our current location produce is about 10 percent of our total sales and that's normal for a co-op uh, downtown it's about 25 wow. percent interesting so people really are looking for fresh food that they can walk and get and you are trying to make that uh, downtown location uh, usable for people who are working there so they don't live down there but they're working so talk about those grab-and-go lunches and those delivery services yep. that you're offering absolutely so um, flagship city offers free delivery for Gordon's for the food co-op for the food hall so that's a really awesome wow. service um, that flagship offers and so we have a lot of products loaded on there that you can get delivered free to your house. Uh, and we also have grab and go lunch available. We're starting made to order lunch, not this week, but next. So you can get some of the sandwiches you know and love from our original location downtown. Um, another cool thing that we have downtown is we have Lisa Heidelberg's Big Bad Meals. So if you know her, <laughs> about these. if Big you bad know bad her meals. and love her, which you very likely do uh, from the courthouse, she now is packaging those meals and we're selling them from our grab and go at both locations. Okay. Um, so if you're hungry for lunch, we have something for you. You were talking about blueberry ribs? Yeah. Yeah, this week she had blueberry ribs. Each week it's something different. Okay. We get them on Tuesday, so that's right, the best right. day to see what's in there. And right. do you have a website or something where uh, folks who would like to experience or learn more about the food co-op can go? Yep, really easy. It's eeriefood.coop, C-O-O-P. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Right. Well, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah we're being really here. Too. So much going on within the Erie Food Co-op.